Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In our previous video on Apache Kafka, we were able to set up a Kafka project in our IntelliJ IDE. In this short video, we will be writing a Java producer which writes some messages into a Kafka topic. So if you have not subscribed to this channel already, now would be a great time to do so. And let's quickly get started. So what are the major things that we are going to do in this video? Uh, so we are going uh, to create a properties object for our Kafka producer. We are going to uh, create our Kafka producer. We are going to create a producer record, which is just a record that this Kafka producer will send to Kafka to be written to a particular Kafka topic. Uh, then uh, obviously after creating that record, we will be sending this data to Kafka and then we will be flushing any remaining data in our Kafka producer and also closing the producer. But before any of this, what we need to do is create a Kafka topic. Uh, so you all know this command. Um, this is the same Kafka topic dot sh that we have been using all along. So let me simply hit enter and we can see that sample topic has been created. This is the topic in which our Java producer will be writing uh, the records. All right, let's get back to our first step. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we are going to create a properties object. As you can see, properties is a class from java.util. So there's nothing special about it. You would probably be knowing about properties from beforehand. Let me call this object prop and let me set it equal to new properties. So what are the various properties that our Kafka producer is going to need? To know more about that, I am simply heading to the Kafka documentation up at the URL kafka.apache.org slash documentation and I am going to look for configuration and under that I'm going to look for producer configs. So um, it says below is the configuration of the producer. So there are just so many properties that we can specify at the time of creating a producer uh, like you, you know the number of retries that need to happen what should be the compression type uh, how much should be the buffer memory and so on. Um, the number of acknowledgements, et cetera, et cetera. I highly recommend uh, you read through it. You will get um, a very good understanding of the working of an Apache Kafka producer. Uh, we are just going to use um, some of the very um, basic and uh, major properties uh, from here. Uh, the first one would be bootstrap servers because uh, our producer needs to know which server in the Kafka cluster it needs to communicate with. And the other properties that we will use will be the key serializer as well as the value serializer. And why do we need both of these properties? Well, you know that any data that needs to be written onto Kafka needs to get serialized. So we need to specify a class which will do the serialization for us. Right, so the three keys that I need from here are key serializer, value serializer, as well as bootstrap serializer. And I have already copied them into my editor. So let me uh, start by setting some properties on the prop object. So prop dot set property. And the first thing that I want to set here will be the bootstrap servers. So the bootstrap server in this case is going to be the address of our local Kafka node, which is 127.0.0.1 colon 9092. Uh, similarly, um, let me just quickly replicate this. I want to set the values for key serializer as well as value serializer. So a uh, key serializer serializes our keys when we send messages to Apache Kafka and value serializer serializes the value that we send to the Apache Kafka cluster. So the classes that we will be using for serialization would be string serializer. Um, so I'll say string serializer dot class dot get name. Yeah, and that's the way it's done. And I am going to repeat it right here. Just give me a moment. Done. All right, so our properties object has gotten created and all the relevant properties are set. Uh, 
but this kind of hard coding with strings is definitely not something which i like so is there something better that we can do here well apache kafka provides us with a class which is called the producer config class which already has these strings defined for us so if i go inside this class i can see that bootstrap servers config stores the string bootstrap servers so we can use this public static final variable uh, or you can say constant in place of these hard-coded strings so let me replace the other two as well and done so notice how much cleaner our code looks now the next thing we are going to do is actually create our Kafka producer. Now, this is a, a very simple thing to do. It's just one line of code with one constructor call. Uh, let me say final Kafka producer. As you can see, it is a generic class. We need to specify um, two data types. So uh, in this case, both our key as well as our value will be of type string. So I am creating a producer with type string string. So, um, okay, let's name it something better. Let's uh, call it a producer uh, is equal to new Kafka producer. And we give it the properties object as an argument. And that is it. Let's move on to our next step, which is creating the producer record, which will be written um, into the Kafka topic. So uh, for this, we use the Kafka uh, sorry, uh, we use the producer record class. Again, you can see this is a generic class which takes in the data type for the key as well as the value. So we will have them both as string and string. So uh, is equal to new producer record. And uh, all right, so what do we want to specify here? The first thing that we want to specify here is our Kafka topic. And I already showed you that um, the name of our Kafka topic is sample topic. The next thing we want to specify is the key. So let it be a uh, key. Let's just call it something simple key one. And the next thing we want to specify is the value. It'd be value one. Oh, one very important thing uh, which you must note about the producer record though is that this can be created without a key but a value uh, remains mandatory but in this case i will anyhow create it with a key as well as a value and the next part is the best we are actually going to send this record to be written into this Kafka topic so what i'm going to say is producer dot send record all right and the last things that we want to do is simply close the producer producer dot close uh yeah and just before closing the producer we are going to flush it so uh what does producer dot flush do it writes any pending records which the producer might be having into the kafka topic and then the producer dot close on line number 31 is going to close the producer and then the producer cannot send any more records to the kafka topic the only thing that remains to be done now is running this program but just before that we are going to launch a kafka console consumer which will consume from this sample topic that we just created and why do we need this? Well, we just need this as a kind of a verification mechanism to verify whether our messages are actually getting written into the sample topic or not. So let me hit enter and the console consumer is ready. All right, so let's see what happens when we try to run our producer. All right, and it seems like we have got um, some kind of an error. So there's a class not found exception. Uh, okay, so this is kind of a, a known error and we can fix this. So we need to head on over to our pom.xml file and we need to add one dependency here, which is the Jackson data bind. 
let me refresh all the Maven dependencies and it'll just take a couple of seconds. All right, so the dependency is fetched. Let's close this, let's close this, and let's go ahead and run our program. All right, so looks like our program exited correctly this time. Process finished with exit code zero. And as we can see, that value one gets printed on this consumer console, which means that our producer is working absolutely fine. Let's produce one more value here. Let's call it value two and let the key be key two as well. Uh, let's go ahead and run this program again. And again, you can see value two gets printed on the console consumer, which means that it was correctly produced by the producer into the Kafka topic sample topic. Also within these logs, you can see all of the properties that were set for this producer. If you want any change in any of these properties, you can change them by setting them here in the properties object. And then there are some more logs. You have the Kafka version, the commit ID, start time, and so on. So that's it, guys. We have written our first Java producer. And we can see that it is successfully writing messages into a Kafka topic. In our next video, we will see how can we use callbacks with our Java producers. So if you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, you can click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.